Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 24th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Trouble with Theological Heels, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 93. Your royal laws cannot be changed. Your reign, O Lord, is holy forever and ever. The story begins, John Calvin and John Wesley walk into a tavern and discover Martin Luther sitting at the bar. (laughs) Anyone who's been to Sunday school more than twice can take that scenario into an infinite number of directions, none of which would likely reach a conclusion, unless, of course, it were predestined. All three of historical note, Luther, the priest who broke with the Roman Catholic Church, Calvin, whose history, current events, and eschatology are set in immovable type in heaven's print shop, and Wesley, somewhere in the vague middle, shuffling scripture, experience, tradition, and reason to hold together the wildfire of theological movement, These form a sort of earthly triumvirate of heels firmly dug in theological sand, a monument to stubbornness, passion, and total surrender to movements, still evoking deep thinking and shallow arguments. Not wishing to add to the arguments of which of these theological heavyweights was right, with apprehension I wish to submit that they were all wrong. And, of course, I'm not referring to their institutes, general rules, or theses. I'm pointing at the manner in which these were held. If historical portraits of the battles royale held by those who followed these pipers are correct to any degree, you can imagine the bloodshed over which group won anything worthy of laying at the feet of Jesus. And therein lurks the devil of the details of theological heels dug in the sand. The sand gets torn up, and the furrows continue a plowed field of misery. I recall one seminary class taught by Dr. Jerry Brazil at New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. We were discussing the topic of predestination that God has designed and is orchestrating all of history's events. You could easily sense the argumentative anxiety of students raised in this denomination or that. It was nearly palpable. Is it once saved, always so? Or can you drop off heaven's roster in a single sinful act? Is there any wiggle room, or does God have everything planned down to who I'll marry and what I'll have for breakfast? To his unending credit, and with my undying thanks, Dr. Brazil would not be drawn into the abyss of arguing either side. Instead, he told one of his Louisiana Bayou Cajun Thibodeau jokes, exceedingly hilarious and nowhere near the point of predestination or free will. After the laughter died down in the classroom, one of the more surly students, whom I'm certain didn't even get the joke, raised the question to press the professor into declaring which side he was on. Dr. Brazil, in his best Bayou Thibodeau affect, drawled this, Well, you see, I'm thinking about this thing. I possibly got just enough Calvin and me to know deep down that ain't nothing God can't do. And he be having some kind of plan, enough to keep that old devil down where he belong. And if God be wanting me to join him in that fight, God will make me some room right next to his side. That's what I'm thinking. Class dismissed. For you today, predestination and free will aren't supposed to hurt your head by getting it all down in 40 pounds of textbooks. These are gifts of God to bless your life, if you'll understand that the love which gave it to you doesn't need a theological defender, only an open heart of surrender. If you haven't got a Cajun friend to explain these things to you, I suggest you get one. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.